Okay, I'm back with Fancy and we're going to do a quick overview. Are you ready? We've got a 10 against on the ears, but you can go 7 with depending on the dog's sensitivity to the clipper blade. Um, you want to make sure that you don't go lower than the tang and that the ears line up with the bottom of the jaw. Your clipper line is when the dog's ear is hanging naturally is at the bottom of the jaw. Ten blade against on the cheeks, the muzzle underneath. Make sure you stretch and get those flues cleaned out. Level plane on the nose and should be about equal length to the uh, skull, which is not the case here, but she's still very cute. Um, if they're very snipey, you can use a 7F against or just stop and blend and then use the blending shears on the muzzle, the lips themselves. When I did the skull, it was a 5F width and then I took the blending shears because she's got a pretty good sized lump here, kind of a dome, and this should be a level plane here. So I took and blended most of that off, um, cleaned up the stop with my 45 tooth blenders. Uh, when I did the throat, I stopped, I went about four finger lengths under the Adam's apple so that I have plenty of coat to finish out and create the pretty four chest that you see here. The body was done with the 5F with the grain 4F into the neck. Um, and the line that I followed was actually following the point of shoulder and it went from the base of the ear to the point of shoulder. Anything that's on the inside stayed for the four chest. Anything on the outside got blended off. And I blended down the front of the leg, blended down the side of the leg so that when you look over, everything's very clean. When I blended my skirt, it's about at the elbow. Kept that skin pulled tight, blend, blend, blend. Then the rear leg was the same 5F. And I held the hair here in the front of the leg, blended all the way down. Held the hair from the pin bone back, blended. Um, the feet, the hocks are straight. Um, you can uh, leave the pastern here if you had furnishings on the back to match, which we didn't. So I trimmed out her pasterns uh, about a finger length uh, below the little uh, pad there. And everything kind of points to that center focal point. This goes to the middle, this goes to the middle, and then the underline, the longest point, is at the point of shoulder here, feeds through, matching her rib spring and depth of chest to the tuck up and down the front of the leg. The rear, um, you, you want the, the skirt between the legs or the, the little curtain here from the pin bone down. We're missing that, but it wouldn't matter. It would just hang down here from the side. If you look, you don't see any of that. See how that blends? You don't see any of the hair that's hanging here. From the side, all you want to do is see the angulation of the dog. Try to create a level top line. I did not do a very good job. I should have probably left a little fill in here. I didn't notice she dipped so hard in that area. But, um, you know, she isn't a spring chicken. And you can't fix everything. But those are things that you should be thinking about while you're working. Thanks.